Kyle joins me now. I got to say, that guy's reaction, amazing. It's sort of like he had just gone to the store and got a gallon of milk. Yeah, it was remarkable. The other thing that stuck out to me in watching this video in real time over and over again is that two minute period after Mr. Martin is shot and he's lying on the ground and people are passing by, many of them may be unaware, but you just don't see the response that you'd expect, I think. Yeah, well, and I wonder if there's just so much weird stuff that happens in Portland now that people know to just kind of stay in their tunnel vision. Wow, okay, how did you get this video? It's unusual, especially for a pending case. I mean, this case has not gone to trial just yet. There was a bail hearing back in November that basically nobody really noticed at the time. So I filed a public records request for all the exhibits from that hearing, and from that, we got all these videos, the 911 recordings, and the police interviews. So it's like a little mini trial exactly. as the shooter's arguing to be released, so they have to show the evidence. And prosecutors lay that out before a judge. Wow, okay. Remind us of the ORS. So in Oregon, when it comes to use of deadly force, in the case of self-defense, the law is pretty clear. Uh, there are certain circumstances, one committing or attempting to commit a felony involving the use or threaten imminent use of physical force against a person, or committing or attempting to commit a burglary in a dwelling, or finally, using or about to use unlawful deadly physical force against a person. Interesting, okay. And I know finally that you tried to reach out to the families. I did, I felt it really important in this case. Yeah. Uh, we don't wanna blindside them, obviously they've suffered enough, but I wanted to make them aware we were doing this story and all the elements of the story. I can tell you a couple things. One is Mr. Martin's family is quite distraught still. Sure. They felt it really important to recognize the fact he wasn't just a victim, he was a husband, he was a father, a musician, loved by many people. Uh, I emailed with Mr. Gomez, who lives in Arizona. He is still recovering physically after being shot, still going through physical therapy. And then I reached out to Mr. Hammond's public defenders and they did not respond to my emails. It's just, it's all shocking, but really shocking when you see Mr. Gomez shot and laying there on the ground. Definitely. Wow. Okay, thanks Kyle, great stuff as always.